Okay, I want to welcome everybody to uh, this morning's Rules and Elections Committee hearing. We have two items on the agenda. Uh, if I could, uh, before I have the clerk read the items, I'm joined by Mr. Buscaino and Mr. Weezar, so we do have a quorum. So with that said, Mr. Clerk, what do we have before us today? Item number one is a city attorney report and an ordinance amending sections of the Los Angeles Administrative Code to, to establish new council districts for the city of Los Angeles. Okay, if uh, I could have the city attorney come forward and uh, detail their report. Good morning, council members. Uh, Harith Good morning. Kibbe from the city attorney's office. As you recall, on uh, March 16th, 2012, the City Council adopted new district lines for the Los Angeles City Council. And on the 25th of April, adopted new, city, or new district lines for the LAUSD 7 Board of Education districts. If, based on these actions before you today are two ordinances, one containing the meets and bounds property line descriptions for the, reflecting the new council district lines you adopted, and the other containing the meets and bounds property descriptions for the LAUSD Board of Education lines you adopted. We have worked with uh, the Bureau of Engineering and the CLA's office to ensure that the meets and bounds descriptions contained in these ordinances accurately reflect the redistricting plans you adopted. No substantive changes were made to the maps and we have attached copies of the new district maps to the report for ease of reference. We've approved the ordinances to form and legality and I have Randy Price from the Bureau of Engineering here as well as myself to answer any questions you may have. Mr. Price, is that Dan Green in the back? <laughs> Sometimes I scare myself. Okay. Yeah. Good morning, council members. Good uh, morning. My name is Randy Price from the Bureau of Engineering. Talk to me about what your process was. Our process was that we received the um, um, boundaries that were adopted by uh, the commission uh, in a uh, electronic file format. We took those uh, boundaries and we overlaid them on the city's base map. And then from that, we got the uh, property descriptions for those, for all of the boundary lines as that uh, winds its way around the city. So we would look and, and get the track map designation, the lot designation, the boundary, the particular lot boundary that would define the council district boundary in the areas where it did not run along streets. Okay, now, you know, there were concerns raised early on that this process was being rushed or fast-tracked. Um, were you given a sufficient amount of time, too much time, not enough time, or just the right amount of time in order to do your job? For our job, we had plenty of time. Okay. Uh, Council member, thank you very much. Members, any questions? In fact, do we have any public comment requests? There are no public speaker cards. Well, and I would have to guess that the reason for that is we've had extensive hearings on this uh, issue. I know this committee has met, met five or six times regarding this, and we did have a very healthy discussion in, in council. So uh, with that said, I'd like to see if any of the other members would like to ask a question or two, Mr. No. Uh, okay. Yes, Mr. City Attorney. Just as a procedural matter, uh, we advise you to take separate votes on both um, ordinances. Okay, uh, so we're joined by Mr. Englander. I'm curious, again, it's just curiosity, why should we take separate votes? Um, as you know, there's been threats of litigation regarding one of the plans. I think a clean uh, record regarding the votes on each um, and distinct actions on each would be advisable to, to continue with the clean record that's been created for this. Okay, makes sense to me. But again, and I know I've asked you this at every hearing that you have attended, uh, where it relates to our comfortability from a legal standpoint, are you comfortable with the work that we have done? Yes, we've reviewed the maps extensively, as you know, um, with experts in the city uh, and the CLA's office and all the other city staff involved, and uh, we believe they are uh, compliant with all legal requirements and, and are defensible, and, and we've signed off on the ordinance as to form and legality, um, especially with the changes that were made 
by the City Council coming out of the Commission and changes made by the Council prior to final adoption, um, we feel very comfortable. Okay, and we have had some discussions or, ha or do, are we planning on having discussions with outside firms if need be or? Yes, you'll have a matter on your agenda later today in full council, which was in, uh, in budget committee a few days ago for the retention of outside litigation council in the event that litigation is filed. Okay. John Wickham with the, uh, yeah, Mr. Wickham. Um, just for clarification, item number one concerns the city council boundaries and item number two concerns the school district boundaries. So uh, as a city attorney voting on each one independently meets the needs that he, he Okay, addressed. so at this point then, uh, uh, Mr. Wezar. Now, originally we were told that the maps will take effect July 1st. I have since heard some discussion that they will take effect upon the signature of the mayor, uh, which is accurate. The, uh, the maps, the redistricting ordinance per our charter are effective upon publication. So it's upon the publication of the ordinance by the uh, city clerk. So after your passage, after the mayor's signature and after it's published, at that point they become effective, whether that's before July 1st or after. The charter deadline for council action on the ordinance is, is July 1st. July 1st. And how long does it take uh, between the mayor signing an ordinance and the publication? Uh, that's a question best for the city clerk. Um, okay. uh, it usually takes a few days. Takes a few days? Yeah. Okay. Great. Dion, Dion, did you want to just get some air time or do you yeah. have something really <laughs> sure. important? Yeah, just to prove to my boss that I'm here. Um, <laughs> the, uh, uh, after the mayor signs, there's usually a day of processing to the clerk's office and then it could either be posted for 10 days or published in a newspaper of general circulation. Uh, the normal process is posting for 10 days because it's cheaper uh, and because of the length of this mat, this ordinance, it, it may be best to post it for 10 days. So you're at, uh, anticipating that it would be official, what, end of June? That would be about June 30th or July 1st. Okay, so if we move now, we can make the July 1st, okay. Yes. okay. So why don't we, uh, Madam Clerk, I'm gonna, just for the heck of it, we'll vote on um, the LAUSD item first. So that's item two. That's correct. And item two, for the record, is the city attorney report and ordinance amending sections of the LA Ad Code to establish new Board of Education districts for the Los Angeles Unified School District. Okay, unless there's an objection, then uh, we'll have a unanimous vote on that uh, item, item two. And Thank there'll you. be no need for a roll call vote. So that now brings us to item one. If you could read that item, M Madam Clerk. And item one is a city attorney report and ordinance also amending sections of the LA Ad Code to establish new council districts for the city of Los Angeles. Okay, thank you. Members, okay, so then we will uh, deem that vote to be unanimous as well. Thank you. Okay, and Mr. LaBange is on his way. If he were here, he would have voted aye, but he's not. But I'm sure the school children that he entertained know now about every high school in the city <laughs> of Los Angeles. Okay, is there any uh, additional business before this committee? There are no other matters before the committee this morning. Members, any statements or from any of the other members? No? Okay. Um, this committee is adjourned. Thank you all. Okay, guys. See you later. Thanks, brother.